Well, I thought I'd do a video on my my doily pattern collections or my doily books. I've been talking about them. I do have quite a few of them and they're all in here. And then I do have a few of the uh, mail order pattern books too. But um, let's kind of get into this. I've been talking about my do Oh, I'll show you my do some of my doilies. And maybe you guys can help me with this. This pattern here is like a shell. And I can't find any patterns to match this. It's really kind of simple. You just do the circle and then the chain stitch. And then it's just shells all the way around. And I find so many, you know, there's so many patterns for pineapple that was so popular. But I keep looking for shell patterns. These are the shells. And I love this doily. I picked it up someplace, but I've never found any patterns for a shell. Total shell. I've got somewhere, let me see, like this little baby. Um, it has a shell in here, but then goes into the uh, pineapple. And uh, this is one I made, and I, I like combining um, the different colors. And I love these, that soft. And um, here's one I made that I really like, it's really pretty. And this is, um, well, let's see, one, two, three different threads combined. And uh, this is the, um, oh, I wasn't going to get into threads today, but I'll just show you. This is a Coates and Clark. A lot of these books here are Coates and Clark. And this is a, is it a three chord? A three chord, but actually my favorite is a six chord because what that is, there's uh, th six chords tw twisted instead of three strands, three strands twisted in this. And here's an example of a, of a six cord and there's six, it's a little bit heavier, durable thread. Uh, and then there's six strands mixed. And I prefer when I buy now and try to find, and I've got a lot of the, I've got vintage patterns, vintage threads and vintage hooks. And that's, I don't know how I got into doilies. Well, I just loved them. I always thought they were really cool and intricate. And I must have found a pattern book or I don't know. And how I started was uh, a friend of mine just showed me how to make a, a chain stitch. And if anybody wants to make these or are interested in um, doilies, it's so simple. If you, all you have to do is learn how to make the chain stitch. Then you go in circles and... Um, well, I'll show you on some of the patterns, but don't be afraid to try because once you get the, can understand or read the pattern, once you get that down and you know how to do a chain stitch, you just kind of go from there and then you just go round and round and round. Okay, let's get into some of these uh, patterns books that I have here. Um, let's see, I don't want the light to reflect, so I better figure out how to fix this up. Some of my toys out of the way here. Let's see here. Oh, I don't wreck my TV. Well, we'll just have to make, maybe hold it down like this. Try not to get the reflection. Okay. These are some of the books. There was Star Books and also um, this one here, which is the uh, J of uh, the coats, and then there were, I have some how-to books, and this one here is chair backs. Well, I got a lot of these. There's a star pattern book. There's a Clark's favorites. Dorothea. These were like uh, tablecloths. This was kind of a nice book. Uh, gallery. I think you pronounce this fillet. It's it's this type of work here, and I've never done any of, of that. And I don't know if I'll try someday. There's other things too, and there's tatting. 
and I haven't done that I kind of understand the principle I got a book for that in here too and here's the pineapple that became so popular and here's one with the ruffled and I've never really done a ruffle because you know after you do them you got to really starch them and hang them upside down and get that ruffle just too complicated too complicated more ruffle doilies all the pineapple lots of pineapple pattern books uh, American thread and all these people made their own thread like American thread and uh, uh, let's see here Royal Society I think they made thread and here they have a uh, the Royal Society so I suppose if you make their doilies and you get to become part of the Royal Society advertising you know and uh, anyways I'll just go through some of these and show you in edging and I do have a book on edging more edgings and I never I never learned how to do the edgings I don't quite understand how you put the the uh, how you hook them if you poke a hole in the handkerchief or um, how you do that but some of these books just the color is so pretty of the um, on the cover oops I should do this at night so I don't have that glare more edging more ruffled doilies ruffled again uh, Here's some threads talking about their threads in this book and how to crochet. And also, there's so many patterns. You can even go to the library and Google these patterns. And uh, so these I had gotten at the library. Let's see, I'm fighting with my books here to get a place. And what's this one? This is a star. Crochet, tat it, hairpin lace, and knit. Puritan also made um, threads. And what happens with Puritan, it's like a size 10, which is a larger size. And a size 10 thread is like this. It's heavier um, compared to, let's see, the thinner thread there. But Puritan, their patterns are based using their thread. And it's hard to find their thread. And a lot of their thread has that, um, let's see if I can find an example of what I did here. With this uh, iridescence, does it show the iridescence in here? But it's a size 10, it's larger. But for a lot of these patterns, if you don't use the right thread, you know, it doesn't fold, it doesn't sit right. Let's see. There's some of the beautiful things in there. And they have different hook size and different thread, and the pattern will tell you in the beginning what to use. And here I'll show you here um, one pattern that I use two different size thread and two different size hooks, and how different they turned out, if I can find them now. This was the same pattern, and this is a very complicated pattern. Usually you just go around in a circle, and you kind of have the same uh, stitch kind of happening. <laughs> this baby, it changes every row. You have to keep going back to the pattern to, to figure it out. But if you're a beginner, don't try anything like this square one because it's hard. But anyways, this is the same pattern using a smaller size hook and I believe a smaller uh, thread. And it might not even be a smaller thread. It could be just the smaller size hook. But so it turns out different. So it's also kind of important um, to follow what the pattern says for hook size and thread, especially if you're a beginner because otherwise it won't turn out the way and sometimes it can become you know crimpled and, and doesn't lay flat but usually a good iron and some starch will take care of that um, we'll press them in real good okay here's some more let's just go through some of these books i got a lot here and i did tell you you can go to the library and, and get patterns 
doilies, more edgings. I try to put all my edgings together, but I haven't always gotten it together. Oh, got the dust out here. Better take that out. Okay, let me put that baby down. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, here, this is, this is, we got socks. Falling apart here. And knits. This is some of the books. Um, a Jiffy Lace. These are newer. The books were in the 40s, and they were like 10 cents. Now, as the, as time goes on, the price gets a little bit higher. These, so these are newer. This must be the cold one with clothes. Classic sweaters. Um, shells. Oh, this, this book is really fabulous. Here, let's see this one. The photographs in here are just incredible by themselves. This has got to be the 40s. That is really a pretty book. Boy, these are nice. And like I said, just the photographs are wonderful. How's that for a bag? Big bow. Mittens and hats. I've never, I haven't attempted anything like this. And the reason why is because I just... What's easiest for me is the plain old doilies where you just go round and around. So satisfying. <laughs> Put him away later so I don't wreck the pages. There's another Coates. Coates and Clarks. We have Jack Frost. I'm not going to be able to get away from that glare today. Peter Pan and Cabot. Now some newer ones. Um, is this nylon thread? You have different. And then McCall's. Early Jack Frost. Or I should say later. Later book. Jack Frost. And they do have a few baby things. Okay, let's keep going here. Baby book. Baby book. I got a lot of books here. What have I got? I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and the one we looked at about twelve, I guess. There in the TV, I got some of my videos going on my bracelets and my hair hanging down on that. God, I gotta make sure my hair doesn't get in on this one. Okay. All right, here we go. This one is uh, more edgings and stuff for uh, for towels. We don't do this. People don't do this stuff now so much. Fairs and bazaars. I do have a couple of these uh, someone else made. Um, aprons and I thought they're kind of cool but I've never made them myself quick twips here's another Puritan did we go through this book no crochet or I got just you can even make a cover for your Trash can, the milk glass crochet. Who makes this one? See, ten cents coats. Gifts, rugs. Oh, I'd like to be able to make a rug though. That's for sure. Look at that baby. I love the crochet rugs. You know, now, with the price of threads, if you have to go out and get the right kind of thread and stuff, it's almost more expensive to um, make one. You can, get, you can get things now that 
probably at a better price than even making them, but there's nothing like being able to make it and then have it. So now while we're at it, I was going to show you my bracelets of the day since I got my video going on. Um, this is what I'm wearing today. This is my, it's a combination of troll bead, troll bead and Pandora. They're vintage or old Pandora. And there's a little piece of jade from the jade store. And this is a camellia bead right here. And uh, that's not considered too fancy, but I like it. And then uh, I could mess with the light. And this is a ruby rock. And there's a spacer, troll bead spacer. And this here is a, um, what is it, climbing vine in red enamel. And that's a, a retired Pandora. And this is a troll bead transformation. And this here is a garnet. Isn't that beautiful? Let's zero in on that baby. I don't wreck it all here. That's a pretty thing. And then this is a extra large jumbo Pandora. And here's another one of those camellias and brace. And this is a, a rock. This is an uh, angel wing all unite, I believe it's called. That's a rock. And here's a trefle knot, I believe, a troll bead. And then here also is a retired Pandora. And it's on a troll bead uh, bracelet with a big flower lock. And that's my bracelet of the day. And I don't know, you guys are probably watching this for the, um, catalog, uh, the, um, catalogs or the, you know what I mean, <laughs> for, for the crochet pattern books. Okay, let's see going here. Let's see what's this. Oh, I got some really neat ones too. Okay, these are mostly, um. Uh, let's see, I guess I gotta bend that down again. The glare now is terrible. Let's see. Let me put my crochet balls under there. All right, more doily books. Some of them I have doubles of, and then when I have a marked here that's uh, probably ones I wanted to make or the size of thread I used or patterns I like. These are patterns I like and, and the hook or the, yeah, the size, the thread size and how big they are. So when I find some really cool thread I want to use, I can uh, find a doily to make. I haven't made any for so long and I probably won't for a while. I did find one pattern looking through these that I kind of pulled out. I might be interested in doing. This is really cool. These bed spreads now. We'll get to those here in a second. Matching sets. More pineapples. Pineapples were so popular. Popular, popular, popular. Popular books. And I don't know what year they came out. Probably 50s or 40s. I'm sorry, I don't know. And of course, then we got the chair sets. Okay. Put that one away. Oh, what's in here? Oh, we're coming up to a really neat one, too. And then I got books with the florals, all the florals. You know, they make these little flowers, and, and they're kind of raised. I'm not doing so good on this today. I guess I'm just letting you look at the books. All my patterns. Edgings. Put these on your pillowcases. Like I said, I never figured out how to attach them. How they... And I'm sure it's something easy. Edgings. I love the edgings. They're also pretty. I love the books. And hankies. Now... We don't carry hankies anymore, and I can't imagine ever blowing my nose on something like this. But I suppose when the wind's out there whipping my into my eyes and my mascara starts running down my face, they'd come in handy. To dab at my eyes would be good. But that's things of the past. All these beautiful books. 
Let's see, what's the time at? We gotta keep going here so we don't run out of time. Floral, all the florals. The books are just beautiful in themselves. Oh, there's the one I pulled out because a book like this because I thought this was really interesting. Be kind of fun to come on if I get my camera to focus. Where's my automatic focus? I thought that with those little they look like um pansies in there. I thought that'd be kind of fun to do. We'll see. If I do another doily that that will be it I think. If I do Okay, now I got this one. Book here is Higgleson, I believe the name is. This has got a whole collection of, of um, Higgleson. Elizabeth Higgleson. And um, this woman, she made her designs... She was an individual. I think she lived in California. 1960. I got quite a few of her books. Here's the filet. The books are just fun. I'll pull one of these patterns out. I'll open one of these books. Let's open this one, number 11. Let's see if I can get that open here. Ooh, that one's cool. Oh, it's the same. Oh, that one's cool, too. I got doubles of the book. She has some instructions. And um, you know, I've never figured it out when I do the crochet. You know, you start with your chain circle. And then as you go along, you must add another link to your chain and if you can figure out you know if you start with seven uh, chain in the circle then the next ring how big would that be you know she put these um, vents out or whatever and then how many chains would you need to go to this area? I think once you can figure that out the pattern um, you could probably start making your own patterns and I mean I've never figured it out I just get into these and I just go round and round and round and get excited to see as it as the patterns lay out and that's about as much as I mean I've never taken the time to count the stitches is what I'm trying to say so if you had seven here and then how many stitches would you need to have this lay flat and have this around and then next one is, is that's the science to this but here's Hiddleston design I would if I were a beginner I wouldn't start with her but if you would like to get into into this doing doilies don't please don't be afraid all you have to do is learn to do this chain stitch um, and let's see where's the first uh, join uh, make so many st chain stitches then you join um, Let's not, like I said, let's not use one of this woman's patterns to describe how easy it is to crochet at the moment. Let's get this back in here. Now, well, let's set it aside and I'll do it later so it wreck my book. But anyways, I've got quite a few of hers. Vallejo, California, that's where she was. And you could get these at Woolworths for $2.50 at one time. But her patterns always look so neat. I'm going to have to, I'm getting excited about doing these again. <laughs> and don't ask me how long it's taken to do a doily. I don't know. I just do a little bit at a time. And I've never just sat down and timed how long it takes. Some women can really whip them out fast. They sell their doilies. And how they can spend the time making them and then selling them and have it be profitable, they must really, really, really work fast. Let's zoom on that baby. Oh, 
Uh, whoops, I get dizzy for sure. Just some really neat patterns. Let's see, how's the time? Oh, I better hurry here. I've got to hurry. Okay, so anyways, I got quite a few of those. We'll put those away. I only go to about 30 minutes and then... Oh, here, i got to show you some other things. It only goes to 30 minutes and then it uh, pops out. My, my taping does. Okay, here I have some very old ones. This is probably about a 19, I don't know, 10 quite old, um, 10 cents again, there was, uh, here, there's one, two, and four, I don't have three, came in a set, these are very early, handbook of crochet, very early books, fillet and instructions, okay, let's keep going. What have I got? Oh, pot holders. I love pot holders. You're going to have a heavier thread for that. I think I did make one or two pot holders, but I like buying them too at the resale store, at the antique stores, because they were already done and people are so talented with their crochet and they look so nice. But I always thought I wanted to make those too. Here, this is a mail order. I got a bunch of mail order. I'll do another video on my mail orders. I got uh, Alice Brooks and Laura Wheeler, an American one. Let's see what we got here. Better hurry here. More doilies. Okay, this is a nice book. I like this book. But I was going to say, if you've never done doilies, don't be afraid. They're just going around and around. Like, um, first round, chain three and then 23 DCs, that's double crochet in ring. So you make a, a ring and, you know, you join. You do a chain stitch and then you do a stitch to join. And 23 DCs, that's just a double crochet. And all that means is you wrap the thread around the hook two times or one time, you know, before you stick it in and then wrap it and pull it out. Uh, and that's all. All you're doing with this is a chain stitch, but you manipulate it in different ways as you go around the circle to make the pattern. And this looks like the pattern to that little one that I had right here somewhere. But anyways, where'd it go? Oh, well, too much stuff. Ah, here it is. That looks like the pattern for this one. Could know it's different. See the, the outside is different. So many patterns. So. Okay, let's just keep going through. Um, this is for the embroidery. Boy, I found a lot of beautiful embroidery thread too. Um, I got some silk threads from way back when. Silk embroidery threads are just beautiful. So glossy and soft. Okay, pillowcases. Crinoline Lady. Butterflies. Bathroom linen closet to decorate your towels and, and sheets. Wouldn't that be pretty to have on the bed? Dolls. Dolls and dolls. Old and new favorites. Crotch stitch. Filet. Let's see, i got to watch the time. They're going to shut me off pretty soon. Uh, the Royal Society. Let me see. This is ruffled. This is all ruffled doilies in here. And I have a few more scattered throughout. And then this here, last book here is... What's this one? Oh, tablecloths. And I've never done the tablecloths, and what's so complicated for me, and plus it'd be big and take a lot of time, and I spend a lot of money on the thread, and I've got these beautiful vintage threads, but I don't want to, I'm a hoarder, I don't want to use them up. Here's a 
beautiful Colts and Clark. This is the three chord, but like I said, I like the six chord. I do have some six chord. Is it focused so you can see? Six chord, and this one is three chord. I've got a lot of this beautiful thread, and like I said, I wouldn't want to use it all up in a... Okay, let's get back out there if we can. In, I mean. Okay, so with tablecloths, is you make your medallion, and then you got to make a medallion, and then you have to um, uh, join them. But okay, this one's tablecloths. All the tablecloths right here. Oh, and runners. Well, I got quite a few. I'm going fast, but I don't want to get turned off here. I did the ruffle doilies, and we went through this one too. Okay, and then I have a whole bunch of these. Um, these are the um, mail order, and I'll do a video on these because I have stacks and stacks and stacks. In stacks of my beautiful mail order ones. And I've shown this before, and I hope this doesn't get all cut off, but this was from the 40s or whatever. Oh, I don't have it, but I have one where the woman, she pinned it on. This one's glued. She'd get the, um, from the newspaper, send in the order, and the pattern came, and she'd attach that to whatever one it was that she had ordered. And here's a Alice Brooks design chair. These are really cool too. Okay, I'm going to sign off now. Looking at my video here, doing my bracelets. Look at my beautiful bracelets. If you guys haven't uh, checked out my Pandora bracelet and design um, videos, do that too. All right. Thank you very much. And did I show you all my my doilies. Oh, I missed a few things, but I'll get them some other time. My 1910 catalogs. Okay, or crochet pattern books. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you, and bye. Look at my beautiful. Bye. Oh, here, this is when I'm making it, or had made this bracelet. <laughs> okay, goodbye.